Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Now today we are going to take a quick look at the AlphaWise X5 which is a dual operating system device. Windows and Android which in my opinion is the best of both worlds. Now when I was reviewing this unit I decided to include as well in this video the Z83 uh, mini computer which only has one operating system and has a, a different characteristic from the X5 which is it has the capability of outputting to display simultaneously. So we are going to take a quick look at both of them. Now starting with the unboxing experience guys, what we can expect, it's a pretty usual unboxing. We will find the mini computer, a power adapter and the HDMI cable for each of these machines. In terms of the connectivity, as you guys may see by some images, they will share the exact same connectivity on the right side, exact same connectivity on the back. And the only difference will be that the Z83 has on the left side a VGA output so that we can connect a second display. And in terms of specifications, these two, as I said in the intro, have the exact same specifications. They are based on the Intel Quad-Core Z8350, which is a CPU that we have been using for the past two years or so. It's something that it's not uh, outdated completely, but it's not the most recent CPU on the market. So this is one of the reasons as well that these machines have such a quite a low price. Now in terms of capacity both of them have 32 gigs of flash storage on the X5 AlphaWise mini computer which has dual operating system when we look at the Windows side of things we will only find 3.2 gigabytes of free storage available so this is something that we need to consider. Now we will be able to use internal storage or external storage to be more precise using an SD card or a USB drive but still it's something that we will need to have in mind. Now the Z83 on the other hand has 16.3 gigabytes of free storage when we uh, turn on the computer so a little bit more than the AlphaWise. But here guys the main reason that the AlphaWise has such a low storage on under Windows is because it has a dual operating system. Now one of the main reasons in my opinion of course to get the AlphaWise X5 it is for someone that wants Windows for certain tasks and of course we can install apps on other uh, USB drives or SD cards and then use Android for uh, mobile apps. Now some people enjoy just the platform to be able to play games others uh, to enjoy multimedia and so on and so forth. So this will depend on the type of usage that we want to give to this particular device. Now just out of curiosity, when we are on Windows, if we want to boot to Android, we just need to select an app called Switch, which comes pre-installed on this machine. And once we press that button, we will just need to select Switch System to Android. And it's a matter of a few seconds, up to one minute or so, something like that. I didn't measure honestly, and we will be on Android. Now when uh, we want to leave Android to go back to Windows of course we just need to uh, do the same but under Android uh, there is an option on the status bar and we just need to pull it down and press switch OS and then the procedure will be the same and it will restart on the Windows. Now guys, talking about performance on these two devices, as I said, this is not the latest CPU that it's in here, but it's still capable of being used for uh, office tasks like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on and so forth. Now, uh, I can't imagine a few years ago getting for such a price a full-fledged computer that could be used for these tasks. We would need to purchase a much more expensive unit. And at this moment, for example, for my kids to do their homework, this is more than they need. Of course, gaming here only for the mobile platform or old uh, games, but still we can have a lot of fun with these devices. And for someone that just wants the basic usage of a computer, like browsing, emails and so on, then this uh, computer and the Z83 with the same performance will deliver that kind uh, of output. As you guys had the chance to see, I did perform a few tests under Windows and also under Android and on the Android side always to me I look at it more on the media consumption so I did test it out with Kodi 17.6 uh, at this moment and I had a good experience with the most uh, common video types up to 4k h264 and h265 codecs over my network of course 8-bit videos in this particular case and also played a few games including responsibles with a great experience so this is one case scenario that we uh, can use android although there are a lot of games for windows in terms of android we have a lot more choice for this kind of device at least in my opinion so in conclusion guys what i can say is that in terms of performance these are not 
today the most powerful computers at least mini computers available on the market as we know because we have seen a lot here on the channel but for office tasks if it's that the only thing that you guys are looking for office tasks and a little bit of photoshop and internet browsing and emails then this is more than enough of course with the bonus that we can play some mobile gaming and in the case of the alphawise x5 mobile gaming on the android side is just awesome by the way i don't recall if i mentioned the free available storage on the android side so just out of curiosity for those of you that are wondering hey robert you mentioned windows but you didn't mention android and that being said closing up the video hope that you guys enjoyed this one if you did don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one